Welcome to iLecture Online and here's example number five on how to do max min problems using our calculus method. And this is actually a very interesting problem. Let's assume that you cut a log uh, from a tree that is uh, 20 inches in diameter and you're supposed to then take that log and cut it down to a beam that is the strongest beam possible. Now, the way that works is that the beam strength depends upon the width and the height and the strength, if we let S represent the strength of the beam, is proportional to the width, which means if you double the width of a beam, you get twice the strength. So that's why when we put two by fours together and we use that as a support of something, the more side by side two by fours you put, the stronger the beam gets. But it's only linearly proportional to the width. The beam, however, is the strength of the beam is proportional to the height squared. So that's why we like to make beams that tend to be higher than wide. And so you can see that if you double the height of a beam, you quadruple the strength of the beam. So the advantage is to make the beam higher rather than wide to get more strength out of the beam. But of course, there's a limit as to how you can cut a beam out of a log. So given that a log has a diameter of 20 inches, what would be the right proportions of the height and the width to get the beam to be the strongest possible? So how do we do that? Step number one, we determine what we're trying to maximize or minimize. In this case, we're trying to maximize the strength. So S max is what we're looking for. So always determine that first. Once you have that, we now need an equation to define the strength in terms of the width and the height. So since it's linearly proportional to the width and uh, proportional to the height squared, we still need a constant of proportionality to turn into an equation. And so S is equal to some constant, let's call it K, times the width times the height squared. So there's our equation. Constant K simply represents the strength of the material in this case. So if you cut it out of different kinds of wood or different kinds of logs, K can be different depending upon what wood you're using. All right, now that we have the equation, the next step is to take the derivative of that. No, not yet. Why not? Because we have two variables. We have the width and we have the height, so we cannot take the derivative yet. We need it down to one variable. So let's see here. We have a log. The diameter is d. We have the height and the width. So from here, we can see that d squared is equal to w squared plus h squared. And since we have an h squared in the equation, we can solve that for h squared and substitute that then in here. So we can say that h squared is equal to d squared minus w squared. So step number three, use the constraint to eliminate one of your variables. So in this case, s is equal to k times w times, instead of h squared, we write d squared minus w squared. All right, simplifying this a little bit, we can say that s is therefore equal to k w d squared minus k w cubed. All right, there's our equation. We're now ready to take the derivative. Now we can see here that there's only one variable, w. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the derivative ds dw. So just to make sure we understand what variable we're taking the derivative with respect to, we write it like this. And this is equal to, since w is the variable, it would be k times d squared minus 3 times k w squared. And there's a derivative of that strength equation. Now the next step would be to take that equation and set it equal to zero. So step five, we set the derivative, the ds dw, equal to zero. When we do that, we get zero equals k d squared minus 3 k w squared. All right, we have to solve that one for w, so let's move this over to the other side. So we have 3 k w squared is equal to k d squared. And now finally, step number six, solve this for w squared, or not w squared, but w, divide both sides by 3 k. Well, anyway, we have a k on both sides of the equation, so that cancels. So we have w squared is equal to 1 third d squared, or w is equal to the square root of 1 third times d. So that would be the way in which you want to cut the beam. The width should be the square root of one-third times d. Now what is the square root of one-third? One divided by three, take the square root, and it's 0.577. So that means that the width should be equal to 0.577 times the diameter. And since the diameter is 20 inches, that's 0.577 times 20 inches. And that would be... 
11.5 or 11.55 inches if you want to have it like that. So W is equal to this. All right, since now we have the value for W, what would be the value for H? And H can be found by using this equation right here. So the height is equal to the square root of the diameter squared minus the width squared. So this is equal to the square root of 20 squared minus 11.55 squared. So let's do that. Square this result and subtract that from 400, take the square root, and we have 16.33. So the height is equal to 16.33 inches. All right, so if you have a log with a diameter of 20 inches, and you want to cut it so that the beam is as strong as it can be, you want the width to be 11.55 inches, and the height to be 16.33 inches. And that's how you do the problem.